Well, KTLA is proud to partner with Raise a Child, a nonprofit whose mission is building loving families for foster children. In January, it was National Human Trafficking Awareness Month, and today we are talking about an organization that advocates for child victims of sex trafficking. Joining us now from Saving Innocence is Diana Redeemer and Steve Myers. Thank you both for joining us today to talk about something that's very important. Hi. Hi, thank you for having us. Diana, we're going to start with you. Talk about uh, the mission of Saving Innocence. Yes, Glenn. And we just want to thank you for having us. Uh, this is such an important topic. Um, it's Human Trafficking Month and at Saving Innocence. Our biggest, biggest goal is to end human trafficking, of course. Um, but we work diligently to recover, restore child survivors of sex trafficking here in the LA County area. Um, we work strategically with law enforcement. There's an awesome, awesome specialized unit within DCFS, the Department of Child and Family Services that we work closely with. And we wrap ourselves around these kids and show them love and show them support. And it's so really awesome. We work, right now we work with over 150 youth. Um, some are transitional age youth, so they may be you know, from 18 to 24. And we also provide 24 seven crisis management. Um, we do advocacy and we most recently developed a foster care program so we can connect them to permanency. Such great news. And, and Diana, let's talk about according to uh, the LA County Commercial Sexual Exploitation of Children program, Cases of commercial sexual exploitation among children increased 42% last year in LA County alone. Can you help us understand who these children are and how they might become sexually exploited? Yes, of course. You know, Lou, the average age of entry is between 12 and 14 years old. Uh, many of the kids are approached by either the internet or a friend. So the, a lot of the kids are vulnerable. Um, many foster youth are vulnerable because mm -hmm. they don't have a stable living situation and traffickers understand that and they will you know, approach the youth, try to um, give them food or shelter. So it's so important for us, for us to raise awareness. Um, many young kids here in the LA County are at risk. So we always wanna raise awareness about the internet and the dangers and the safety around our children and you know just spreading awareness all together. Steve, your job at Saving Innocence is to find, mentor, and support people that are willing to foster these children and youth. What is the biggest misperception that, that you hear about uh, when it comes to fostering these particular kids that have been uh, trafficked? Yeah, it's such a good question. You know, unfortunately, the, the children and the youth that we, that we serve, they're often stigmatized or even criminalized. <laughs> You know, sometimes people think that they're like part of the problem. They were the cause of their exploitation or it's a life that they want. Um, often when considering to be a foster parent, sometimes people allow, you know, some unrealistic fears that they have or the possibility of a worst case scenario keep them from becoming family. So that's one of the reasons why we're really passionate about helping people see these kids as kids and not define them by their abuse and trauma. And Steve, while we're chatting with you, when it comes to saving innocence, what are the goals for 2022? Well, we have uh, big goals with, with our, especially inside of our foster care um, program, as we're hoping to find as, as many families as possible. I mean, that's really what we are, are seeking to find. It's difficult to find foster families, um, but especially difficult to sometimes ask people to step close to our kids, and so often we say we're looking for a unicorn, someone who's mm. willing to do the extraordinary and say yes to these kids. Well, it's pretty amazing what you guys are doing, and we appreciate you spending your afternoon for a little bit with us and giving us some insight into this issue. Yeah, thanks so much Thank for having us. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right, to learn more about the benefits of becoming a foster or foster to adopt parent or ways to support Raise a Child's mission, of building loving families for foster children, go to raiseachild.org. We'll be right back.